What's up guys, it's Dom Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Ryan Long video. So this one we've got, You Don't Want a Liberal Pilot. So I think this is uh, another one from his new special. Uh, and yeah, I don't even know where he's going to go with this, but link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. A friend of mine, she was like, I've never had sex with someone that has different political views than me. And I'm like, you probably have though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 100%. Uh, especially if you're like in the, uh, I don't even know what you would call it. I guess like the, the, the clubbing scene, the like Tinder scene, any of that. Like a lot of the, those kind of guys that are like into that, that are, you know, hookup culture, I guess is what they call it in general. They're, they're going to lie through their teeth in order to get some, right? Little technique dudes use called lying. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm fucked a dude where it's obvious. Dudes are stupid. If you're trying to get that type of trim, you don't show up with your January 6th commemorative t shirt. <laughs> you leave the bullhorns and the InfoWars gear at home. Uh, if you're trying to smash that. Same reason if a girl's got like a Let's Go Brandon shirt taking shots at the bar. You're gonna sidle up to that girl, like, they need more women in STEM fields. You're done, you know? <laughs> you gotta tell that girl some Republican shit. I wanna storm that pussy like it's the Capitol. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Are you Joe Biden? Cause my dick feeling the inflation. Stuff like that. <laughs> tell him some Republican shit. It's gone both ways though. I have a friend in Texas last time I was there. He was like, dude, you gotta come to the gun range with me. And I was like, I don't want a good gun range. He's like, what are you like a liberal pussy now? And I was like, I think I'm just a normal pussy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if we need to make politics into it, I'm just in my thirties. I want to do stuff I don't want to do. And by the way, I've went once to the gun range. I know what happens. You hold the gun, then your stepdad holds you way too tight. <laughs> And when you hit the bullseye, it gives you a kiss on the lip. And I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> Boy, it's funny when you always have to hear about everyone's politics. I had a pilot when I was coming back from America to Canada, and this is when people still had to wear masks at the time. And the pilot came on the loudspeaker, and he was like, Hey, everyone, uh, you got to put your masks on, and I want the record to state this is a rule I very much do not agree with. <laughs> But it was to the point where they were like grabbing the mic away from him, like, <laughs> liberal overreach. Run <laughs> right, your Congress people. What happened to my body, my jaw? <laughs> and half the planes like boo, and half the planes like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, we should probably start the plane though, no? need to know my pilot's politics. Obviously, if I do have to know my pilot's politics, I prefer a Republican pilot. Um, <laughs> not a political statement. I'll take the guy flying with God on the wings. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll take the Patriot. It's his duty to land this plane for America. Like, thank you. <laughs> not some girl from a city coming on like, do you know how bad this jet is for global warming? We're dead. Are you crazy? <laughs> Heaven forbid there's a terrorist. You need a patriot who's gonna put his life on the line, right? Some dude who's still tricked into thinking the American military's the good guy, right? <laughs> oh, that's a, With uh... a sense of duty, cracking necks, not today, Muhammad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Calling the male steward is gay in the same breath, a patriot. <laughs> not some girl from where I live coming on. Guys, stop! We don't know what this terrorist has been through. Oh, yeah. Uh... Uh, that went from like really funny to just like a little bit like too real that I, like I don't even want to laugh because it's uh like it's, it's still funny but it's you know a little you know truth hurts a little bit too much you know <laughs> uh anyway that's a good one I, I like that I actually haven't watched too much of a stand up comedy I've seen a couple of the clips that people have suggested and it, it's pretty good which is which is interesting because the one thing I've noticed with a lot of like the guys that are really good at like skits or really good at uh, comedy in movies, you see them do stand-up and they're not nearly as good. But Ryan is one of the few guys I've seen that's like really good at skits and really good at stand-up. Another one is Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis' stand-up's hilarious. His skits are hilarious. But there's so many of like my favorite movie comedians that I then see them do like stand-up and I'm like, ooh, this is a little, a little rough. Uh, 
Yeah. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.